today I'm here with a review video for Keep Her Safe by K.A. Tucker. I was actually sent a copy of this in exchange for my honest review, so thank you so, so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me this copy because I absolutely loved it so much. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So I ended up giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. It follows two different people. One is Noah Marshall, whose mother just told him a very big secret that she's been keeping for 14 years, ever since she became the chief of police for the Austin, Texas police force. The second person is Gracie Richards, whose entire life was flipped upside down 14 years ago when her father was murdered during a drug deal gone wrong and he was actually labeled a corrupt cop. So when Noah shows up on Gracie's front porch one day, they both decide that they want to uncover the truth behind the Texas police force. I freaking loved this book. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars because it was just like... Poof. Right from the first chapter, I was instantly drawn in. I could not put this book down. Like, I needed to know what happened next between Gracie and Noah and all the other side characters. I was, like, so invested in this story. It was kind of ridiculous and a little bit pathetic, not gonna lie. I don't often read a lot of romance suspense books. I mostly focus my time on, like, thriller books, but I am so glad I picked this up. The suspense was obviously what I was drawn to about this book. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know I'm into that shit. The slow burn romance was actually such a nice touch because I hate insta-love. We all know this. I don't often read romance books because I always feel that the romance aspect of the book overshadows all the other parts, but with this one, it was such a slow burn romance. It took a back burner to the murder mystery, which I personally loved because your girl ain't about that romance. Your girl about the murder and the killing and all that jazz. So I was very, very pleased with this book because of that. The plot had so many twists and turns. I was constantly trying to guess what was going on and what was going to happen next. And most of the time I was wrong and I was left sitting there with my mouth hanging open. There were some aspects of the book that were pretty predictable, but for the majority of the book, I had no idea what was going on, which made it so much better for me. There were so many layers to this book and so many possible suspects in the mystery and I was constantly guessing. I always was like, oh yeah, it's this person. And then like a couple pages later, I was like, oh no, wait, it's this person. And I just was constantly on my toes trying to figure out who was behind everything. There was so much deception being thrown around and I just loved every second of it. Personally, I love alternating perspectives, so I really liked being able to see from a bunch of different characters. We got Noah's perspective, Gracie's perspective, Jackie Marshall, who is Noah's mom, as well as Abraham Wilkes, who is Gracie's dad. I loved being able to have the flashbacks to the past during the mystery, as well as the present and what Gracie and Noah were up to. I think that the narratives from Jackie and Abe really enhanced the story and made it a lot more interesting and harder to figure out the murder mystery, to be honest. I loved Noah. I thought he was such a precious little cinnamon roll and I just wanted to hug him. He's so sweet. I loved Gracie and how feisty and sassy she was and she was not taking shit from anybody, which I love that. I loved them together and how supportive of one another they were. It was just like so cute to watch because she's like broken down and her life is so hard and then Noah's just like, bruh, I got you friend, I got you. And then it was like more than friends and I was like, yes, yes. The big plot reveal at the end, I was like, Pew! like I did not see that coming and I was so excited about it because when I figured it out, like I was literally sitting there like, Oh. My. God. I did not expect that ending, so the fact that it happened made me so excited because when I can't call the end of the books, it usually ends up becoming one of my favorites, which this definitely, definitely did. 100% I'm going to be checking out more K.A. Tucker. I've heard that a lot of her books are like romancy and this one's very different from what she usually writes, but I'm hoping that I still like them because I did really like the writing style. I thought that it flowed very nicely. It was very easy to read, so definitely going to pick up some more. The book also features a one-eyed dog named Cyclops, so I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. But overall, I love this book. Five out of five stars. The twists were amazing. The whole story plotline was so well done. And the characters were also 
really, really great. If you get the chance, I would highly recommend picking the book up. It's coming out January 23rd, 2018, so definitely go to your local bookstore and pick up a copy because it is so so worth it. All right guys, so that was my five-star review for K.A. Tucker's Keeper Save. Not 100% sure if any of it made sense because honestly I'm still like reeling about this book. I just loved it so much. But thank you so so much to Simon & Schuster again for sending me a copy and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!